the prep room. We are due to begin ah, shortly. We're starting. Yeah. Will you please make your way to the prep room? Okay, I'm going to grab your volume. Bring up your volume as well. It's not the same without Protag Dan to give us some music. Good to see you, Tech. Hello to you and all of your and all of the people watching. Have fun tonight, friends. The only story I am familiar with is the pirate, is the pilot. God damn it. I mean, like, like um, a little trauma and a little drama in the case of the pilot. I know nothing about your travel report. Um, I released what was that? the pilot. This isn't VR travel report. Oh, I only have some stuff to wait for. I know no trauma. Someone's missing. Like, one over there. Light blue. Yeah. No, I hit the on. I was just wondering. This is like a real life thing, not a. Not a, you know, uh, yeah. or character, in character thing. Oh, mm -hmm. no. oh. Geo Nexus is in here? I mean, I mean, that's no, kind of difficult him. since he... No. I'm Chris uh, someone who's just with a C. I don't know anyone named C. Uh, no, I'm for me. Or not oh. named C, but there's a very low fi Don't, don't, don't. I can I didn't realize uh, that was my No, no, no. Don't he's here. I want to be a very low fi Remember to sell on the VR? Oh, man, you're pretty low fi I do not know who this selfie is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Okay, well, either way, though, there's, there's a big reason why he's not here anymore. It's uh, uh, Yeah, but some, something about allegations or whatever. I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, drama. Oh, he he done a big oh, fuck up, and now he's not, and now he's perma banned from this place. Uh, I don't think that's the full state, but let's just not go further. Yeah, that, yeah. that's basically yeah. what this all boils yes. down to. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, team, I'll be right back. I need to use the bathroom really yeah. quick. Man, I feel no bad. Just make sure that you have some bad <laughs> oh, all that. Um, I don't think I have a definitive answer for that, and I'm not sure if I should be answering. Something happens. Stranger Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. So, I am going to say. I hope. I'm going to find someone else to help edit this girl out of my. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. I just spent 313 million. It seems you've met with an uncertain fate. You find yourself at an interdimensional crossroad. A rendezvous of travelers between worlds. This is our point of contact to the narrative domain. Long ago, when the first mortals walked with us, we guided them through stories of design to evoke emotions, we thought. But these narratives, however brilliant, only shine the brightest when their limits are broken. How does one free the limits of a world within its own creator's headspace? A concept given words and voice in turn gives the observer infinite potential to create a narrative within their own mind, private and held dear in their own image. I fixed it. Sorry. <laughs> On the shores of creation, wills are born, given life, 
by your own private fancy. A single soul can create 10,000 stories, and all of them brimming with ether. This story was written as such. This story seeks for you to understand not only the tour guide, but yourself. Such a feat could only be performed by the greatest storyteller, the greatest voice actor, and the greatest friend. Travelers, it is my honor to introduce to you Trey Jim, the tour guide. As the power bestowed upon my few few tridents, I pronounce you Tour Guide Trey Jim. This is a really cool thing they do here. Trey Jim, the Tour Jim. Yes, I did the thing. Y you were talking to Sheen, dude. Sheen's the bunch of squares. I got confused. I apologize. Friends, to your attention, please. What is this? We are starting the tour. They're gonna explain just a second. Okay, it wasn't. Good evening, wanderers of the narrative halls. As mentioned, my name is Trey Jim, and tonight I will be your storyteller. This is a story based event, and as with any tour in the real world, I kindly ask that you become silent whenever we stop for narration. However, you are encouraged to talk amongst yourselves while we walk. I don't have much to add to what Sheen said. And so, without further delay, I will drop a portal to tonight's instance. Those in front of me kindly stand aside. Which way are you facing? Which direction is <laughs> yeah. hyper uh, it's that it's, it's this that. Is the front facing, facing the, direction. the entrance, my friends. Just, just face the away. The tract closes go. in at the front. Just move. Yes. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Which mm -hmm. particular dimension yeah. of rotation are we speaking of in terms of <laughs> all of them? Just move oh, in a right. distance away. Oh, all I got confused. I'm sorry. Multiple. Wouldn't that make everyone? Anyway, it's the Sayupad. Mm, in the pilot, it's always been the Sayupad. Yeah, Don't get us. We must all clear. Hmm. Oh, my, God. my dear no, would you like to My friends, do not enter the portal to, until I give the signal that it is safe to I do so. I fall asleep to him. Everyone just has to leave the room. I know. It's a magnificent. I repeat, <laughs> do not <laughs> enter the portal <laughs> until it, it I give like the signal. Hmm. Kara, I know you're eager to dance, but just do it off to the side. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Oh, We're all the portal is safe. Wait, wait. You can call me. Yes. All right. Here we are. Who's answer? Who is answer? Mm -hmm. Wait. All right. The reckoning has come. Why do I have to listen to that every Nobody time? Nobody else knows that? Oh, okay. Explore just mode. Then. That's new. What? Well, yeah, you didn't notice the that's that's related to the story. Yeah. I've never noticed it. I didn't have a turn.
It should be orange by default. I guess I'm not sure that looking away every time that that's happening. Yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> Why do you look different? Why do you... I'm not worried about you. I'm worried about the new people who are around. Why can't do you like this? Holy eyeballs. There it goes. I learned. I need to fix some of the bunch of I gotta fix it. Tech Nerd, have you joined a particular VR chat group? Yeah, there's a represent option. Well, if you were in one, you could like you do a represent option, as you can see, we have little. Okay, there's a group name. But, there's a yeah, it's, right it's more of a furry color exactly instead of yeah. flat. Hey, color. Hellman, remember when we were in the pilot, you used to hang out in the pot, and I used to hang out in the pot? I remember the time where we used to fight for the pot. <laughs> now I can actually push you aside, like so. No, it's the Sayu pot. It's the Sayu pot. It's always been Sayu pot. Um, there should be, like, in one of the... <laughs> Uh, how to join, uh, well, at least how to join the VR Travelers group. There should be a link somewhere in the Discord for it. Probably do. I can't remember which um, chat that's in. Uh, otherwise, um, can't you? Hold on. Why am I? I can't grab him. Okay. The other way of doing it is literally uh, the pillars of VR travelers. Horrible. The great one. Friends and travelers, please gather round where you can hear me. Other people. Okay. Searching. Either way, new content. Wait, Account. I think I might have to rejoin server. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm unable to select anyone. No, that's, that's happening that's to me too. Spawn. It's, it's happening to me too. too. That's, the, the, that's it's this man. It's Trajan's fault. Yeah, so Yell at him. I was just freaking out about that. Welcome to the narrative. To the travelers. Not the prince. <laughs> Please listen carefully to the following instructions. Take a moment to adjust your world volume so that you can clearly hear the distant waves. Also ensure that the big button to your right is orange so that tour mode is on. Make sure the button is orange. My right, your left. Same thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's the difference? <coughs> the if you are experiencing lag, feel free to hide all avatars, except the tour guides, which tonight is myself and Shane. Yeah, now that. this yeah, world's custom menu. Anyone. If you are in desktop mode, press tab. If you are in VR, Hold your right hand above your head and press the menu button. You should see this world's custom menu appear before you. Fancy. There is a fast travel menu which is here, and it takes you to certain chapters within the story. I will announce whenever we reach a new chapter in the narrative. One last note for VR users. This tour has some strong color filters in some parts. Now, my friends, let us begin. Please, follow me. <laughs> nice. A fade out. Very nice. <laughs> Very classy. <laughs> In the oh, oh my, a, a much in a much need Discord, improvement of the pilot the, instead of just like um, popping in. We are travelers the, chat. They had to wait. Cat across the road Congratulations. This is a wonderful void. Mm. Not scary at all. What's up, Brett? Your face is the void. I yeah, like the void. Find it. <laughs> uh -huh. So is yours. I can finally it's be alone with my thoughts. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, okay. You said it now. You said it now. Okay. Give me a second. Go, oh, man. Okay. Spin a second. Wait. Actually, no, travelers. Wow. Without further ado, Rickety, good to see you. The story good to see you too. begins. Listen. 
Can you hear it? The waves. They say that when I was born, everyone could hear it. The midwives, the guards, the servants, even the cooks and stable hands, everyone in the castle, everybody in the kingdom. Everyone heard the ocean, but that didn't make any sense. The ocean is nowhere near the kingdom. The oracle said it was a sign that I was different. But I never heard the waves myself. At least, not until... I'm a hologram. I don't bruise. <laughs> it's a hollow bruise. You know this if you play if you played no straight roads. I don't know being in the ocean. Big bite. Good for you. <laughs> I in a castle tower, alone in a dark chamber. A young prince trembles beneath the covers. His brow is furrowed with worry, his breath shallow and rapid. His mind is full, overflowing with grim images, twisted visions. Memories of that night, that storm, that harrowing storm, dark waters churning, roiling. Nightmares plague him, guilt plagues him. Some of the crew members and soldiers were found along the beaches, blue faces strangled by seaweed, bloated half buried in grey sands. But his father was not among them. All were lost to the sea. All but the prince. He awakens with a start, saved from the darkness of his own imagination, finding brief reprieve in the pop of a candle. But his remission is short-lived. He sits up, looks left at the raindrops sliding down the glass, then right, slowly surveying the dark corners of his chamber. There is a meal on his cabinet, likely cold as stone. The thought of food upsets him, his appetite absent for one or two moons now. With a shaking sigh, he reaches over 
scooping up a trinket from his bedside table, and he brings it close to his face, squinting in low light to make out the details. It's a pendant from the sacred land of Medicia, given to him by his father, the late king. All he has is this pendant, his mother and his brother. A warmth ignites in his heart, spreading across his body, keeping the cold at bay. Strong, charming, smart. His brother is everything their parents wanted. He even went to battle alongside the Silver Aegis and came back unscathed. The people look up to him. His brother is the king they want. The chill of night begins to win the fight. The pendant loses its power as his bed pleads for him to return. Heavy covers under which he can hide and wish himself away. A fragile bulwark against a callous, ruthless world that doesn't want him. He dives down into his refuge and... Who would be at his door at this time of night? Is it one of the guard making sure he hasn't fled? Is it the nurse checking up on him again? Is it the zealots finally here to drag him to the tower? Rain batters the glass as he turns his head toward the door. You're still awake? The prince sighs and nods. His brother steps out of shadow, wearing a cloak and carrying a bag. Why is he dressed at this time of night? Has anyone entered your room? The prince looks at his brother. Have they? He doesn't think so. Aside from the rain and wind, the castle has been quiet. His brother seems nervous, and it makes the prince nervous. He shakes his head. Good. The brother glances toward the door. Get dressed. Grab whatever you can carry. The prince's heart sinks. Questions and fears swim in his mind, like eels in a bucket of water. Is there a fire? Has Dacia finally reached the capital? Is his mother, the queen, sending him away? Is he finally going to prison for what he did? But none of the questions leave his lips. He just sits there, useless. Listen, his brother approaches the bed. This is serious. Put on your cloak and take whatever you don't want to leave behind. Someone is... someone is after us, and... He turns suddenly to face the door. The prince tries to listen. Hurry, the prince says in a harsh whisper. Now! The prince is terrified. He climbs out of the covers and reaches down to open the trunk at the foot of the bed, rummaging for his warmest cloak, the dark blue one with the hood. What about mother? The prince's voice feels weak, as though it's about to shatter. What about the guards, the aegis? What about... No, there's no time. His voice frightens the prince. Why is he being like this? The prince finds his cloak and swings it over his shoulders. He slips a long tunic over his nightgown, fastens it with the first belt he can find, and slips into some boots. He only has time to stuff the Ladician pendant into his pocket before his brother grabs his hand and almost drags him to the door. The brother stops, gestures for the prince to be quiet, and peers out into the passage beyond. My friends, let us follow the pair into the dark. Yay, darkness! <laughs> Everything goes right when we go into the oh, darkness. Yeah. Oh, man. It reminds me oh, yeah. of... Hello, darkness, my old friend. Mm. Hello.
wanted to. Need fire and brimstone. Nope. Phased into a wall. Okay. <laughs> Scenery. This is a note, Julian. This um, is a step yeah. up. Had a huge step up. I missed what the priest had done that he thought I would go to prison because I was giving someone my barrow trauma save. That is alright. And again, I'm facing my own mm. questions. Yeah. <sighs> I'm asking what that thing was. <laughs> I don't know you connect the dots soon enough. I goes panda. Can I get the klepto quote in the... It wasn't something I was told I had not care about. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we stuck over here. Now. What the hell? to be there. Panda, I think your friend is not going to How did you get stuck? Okay. Uh, we just paced through this. I'm not alone in here. Friends and travelers, the story continues. The prince and brother pass through an empty hall. The castle has been quiet thus far. But here, footsteps echo from someplace ahead. Behind here, whispers the brother, pressing himself against a pillar. A moment later, a door swings open. The sounds of armor rattling and a woman panting draw nearer. The prince holds his breath. The figure staggers past them in a rush, glancing around only briefly, and they exit the way the brothers came from. For ages, the prince's heart flutters. But something's wrong. She looked injured. And how didn't she notice them? The prince peers up at his brother, expecting him to go after her. But he doesn't. The brother grabs his hand and uses a side door. My friends, this way. Oh, through here? Yep. Oh, I can't get back. I can't get back. <laughs> I have my menu open. Get up there. Parkour, parkour. <laughs> You're having trouble there, dear. There you go. I think that needs to be patched out. It was like a door I could clip through. Someone phased through the wall. <laughs> the, the door, yes, actually. Yeah, I did. Yep. Yes, I did. <laughs> Congration. Yeah, I just thought I'd let you know. Why are we here? The prince asks. The brother hurries past the shelves and moves to the far end of the room, ignoring the question. He starts to check everything, moving random objects, looking behind and under furniture. The prince looks at a nearby open book, some old red tome. Who is after us? The brother stops. The Oracle is dead. The Inquisitor killed him. He looks the prince directly in the eyes, breathless, afraid. I saw it happen. And he saw me. The prince stumbles back, catching himself on a desk. The oracle, dead, and the inquisitor is... A cold chill crawls up the back of his neck. A sick feeling boils in his stomach. Dead. Dead. But... But the oracle said that he was the chosen one. The oracle said he survived for a reason. The oracle said he would learn how to control it if he went to Lodicia and found it. The brother steps back and dusts his hands. Help me move this. The two of them 
carefully, quietly as they can, drag a shelf away from the wall. Behind it, low to the ground, is an old door, a secret passage. This leads outside the castle, the brother says. Are you ready? How is he even supposed to answer that? Ready? How can he be ready? No, 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 this has to be a dream. It feels like a dream, a nightmare. The oracle can't be dead. Any moment now he's going to be shaken awake by the nurse, and his mother will be there, and for once he will welcome her presence. Yes, it's just a nightmare. It's just... Hey. Hey, the brother pulls him back. I know you're afraid. I am too. But without us, without you and me, Lazarus has no ruler after mother. We're going to escape. We're going to hide. We're going to get help, and then I'm going to figure out a way to solve all of this. All right? It's going to be okay. We'll be okay. The prince can only bring himself to nod before they both crawl into the secret passage. My friends, let us follow them this way. Bing. Mm. Bing. Bing. That's it. Mm. What was that sound? Mm? Oh, I think I'm it just got hmm. a was the sound of a panda. Mm. The panda? Where did the panda go, boy? Yeah, spoilers. They'll corrupt your mind. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> Dead or alive. Tell me what you want. Dead or alive. Where's the chicken? Dead or alive. I'm talking to you. Just pure spiritual energy. I like fried chicken. Yeah, just have to wait. It's hard as trade. My friends, the story continues. And the world gets darker. The brothers emerge from the cramped passageway and find themselves in a dimly lit basement. It seems similar to the kitchen cellars, but the prince does not directly recognize it. Judging by his brother's face, he doesn't recognize it either. The brothers begin to cross the room slowly, checking every footstep. The prince stops. What's that noise? Grinding? Rumbling a storm? No. Whoa. Full screen. Ah, sunglasses. Aren't they useful? An image rushes up no. from the depths, <laughs> rising to Thank meet you. him. In a moonlight forest, a beast strides out of the undergrowth. It glides across the ground, argent, majestic, silent, a great silver elk. It lands, pauses, turns back. A younger, tawny elk follows, slower and with less majesty, yet bearing great promise. The great elk observes as the young elk's shadow moves. It betrays the form. The forest becomes dark. My friends, you have a choice to make. The prince has the following options. Descend, divulge, dwell, distract. I will give you all two minutes to discuss what you think the prince should do. After this time expires, one of you will be called upon to speak 
for the group. Your time begins now. I think mm. we should okay. Play. No pressure. What, so, what did you guys choose last, last time? The yeah. What's last time? Is that we get the, given the four choices well, and they all have different uh, well, you think? Well, uh, options. Like for example, the sun. The rat you said dwell. That's what you should do. That's what you should well. do. Well, nah. Okay, look. The rat might have said it, but right now we don't know what the answer is. We don't know what the answer is. But really, will give us a hint. It's still early. It's still very early in this story. We need to choose something we haven't done. Well, yes, so far, well, well, again. Again. well, now I don't know. It's not again. Yeah. Either way, I just left. Because some people have not seen. Well, I'm too. I think Dwell was what they've not seen so descend. The first tried. change we noticed. Once again, mm -hmm. um, four of the it comes down well to the psychic manifestation yeah. so of a uh, subconscious no will, or, or what was it, the collective I subconscious mean, or something. Uh, the ignore the fact that I am here to be stuck. Yeah, that is fun. I am stuck. Yeah, it's not as relevant. To grow up so that you can post it well. the Discord and I, yeah. I say we well. Between I say we well. We'll see that depends. What does devote mean? Really? It is mysterious. Mind. Last time that we dissolved, <laughs> the prince <laughs> attempts to <clears throat> speak with his brother. Yeah, Whoa, that but, worked! Uh, as we all Finally, see, he has uh, trouble doing so. Stay by your boy, mysterious. We should do all the my teeth. The prince like dwells in the certain aspects of the vision, and they become more clear. The sense we get. Uh, the, the vision continues, okay. and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the distract. I don't think I've seen the distract. Distract is pushing the visions away. away. Yeah, distract well, literally just says I'm out. That. That's what distract yes. is. <laughs> so far, we, 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 we should At least I haven't seen distract on this one. Well, in particular. Well, well, well. But um. Uh, <coughs> no, it is uh, mysterious on purpose. You're more what? robotic. Than what were the me. options again? Descend, distract, like. divulge, dwell, yeah, and distract. The time for discussion oh. is oh. over. That was a quick two minutes. Oh. I. <laughs> that was actually longer than two minutes. It's good to see you again. Julian, do you speak? Thank you. Yes. Come here, Julian. King Julian? <laughs> Descend, <laughs> divulge, <laughs> dwell, distract. Which of these yeah. D words do you think the prince should do? <laughs> dwell. <D -word. laughs> yeah. I mean, dwell. I was going to choose another D word, but. Very well. <laughs> the choice has been made. And well, the prince's fates have been sealed. Stop talking. So I mean, uh, what was the four that I did the other week? <laughs> anyway. Perhaps dump? The prince lets the vision occupy right? his mind. Has he seen this forest before? He doesn't think so. What of the silver and tawny elks? The Aegis who trained his brother is known for her family's emblem, a silver elk. Could it be? Phew. The blue was hurting my eyes. Finally. Uh oh. Hey, hey, are you alright? His brother is holding the prince's sword. 
another vision. No vision is worth your life. Come on, let's keep moving. My friends, the story continues this way. I love it. Oh, it's nice. Jesus. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be intelligent there. right here. I'm gonna. Hey, how the heck did you get down there? I think you might have clicked this. Oh, uh, play space mover. Oh, you can't fall through. Oh, no, I'll send you back. I'll avoid the holes. Because I can do the same yeah. thing. <laughs> I'm on my arm now. Wait, the ladder sends you back? Nice. Oh, yeah, it just, yes. It just makes Wait, you go. Where'd he go? Oh. I'll see oh, why in a moment. Why are you staring Every at me? Every hole saves some money for the new VR. For when the rift is. Oh, no, Caesar, and... don't fall. Hold on. We've got Thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> well, or maybe another mic. Came. No! Wouldn't it be funny if these wood planks broke? <laughs> They're going to break, aren't they? Watch your step. That'd be great. And gather around. Oh. Looks the like brother didn't stops know the prince as they come out on a high platform overlooking more stone hewn chambers. The prince listens. There are voices coming. The prince tries to pull away and go back through the door, but his brother drags him down, and they watch and listen as two figures enter, dressed in red garb. Are you sure we have to search every room down here? Ivana Zealot with red hair comes to a stop in the middle of the room. Nobody comes this far. Most don't even know the way. The taller Zealot shakes his head. If the Fireborn says to check every room, we're checking every room. Ivana, have mercy on you if you want to go against that order. Besides, the Aegis came this way, and he wants to make sure she's on our side. Just as he says this, another door opens and they both draw their swords. The silver Aegis stumbles in, still clad in shining armor, sword drawn. A moment of tension. Before they collectively sigh. What happened to you? asks one of the zealots, sheathing his blade. Oh, the prince, he, he attacked me. So, says the red-haired zealot, it's true then, the prince is an enemy of the church. They both are, the Aegis says, but the younger prince wasn't in his chamber. She begins to look around the room. The prince shrinks down. They're both on the run, then, says the tall zealot. Seems the fireborn was right. Only an enemy of God would attack the most reputable knight in Lazarus. And murder the oracle in cold blood? They are demons possessed by Dacian spirits. Come, let us search together. If the princes are so cunning as to get the better of you, he caught me off guard, the Aegis snaps. He didn't seem himself. Still, we'll cover you, in case he tries the same tricks again. The Aegis gives a nod, and the three of them exit, leaving the princes alone again. There they lie for some moments. The prince wants to turn his head, to see his brother's face, but he also doesn't. After a time, the brother slowly gets up and helps the prince to his feet. They look at one another, wordless, and climb down. My friends, the way out is surely just ahead. Let's follow them. 
Yes, it yeah. does. Get uh, come on. Yeah, Pendo, uh, uh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. For a bunch uh, of us. You may have missed this, but I found something hey, new. I, I yes, need you to into my case some... to get it. And you're basically feeding me a drink. It don't worry. Hey. It'll heal me. Excellent. 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 Okay. Thanks. I'll wait for the intermission. Wonderful. Health portions. <laughs> go bird. Okay. Yeah. It's called an energy game. And also, can... I'm gonna need that too. Make it to that long. Yeah. Oh, fun. Excuse you. It'll uh, fix itself eventually. <laughs> I get the joke. I was making it a trombone. Because I can select people now. Yeah, yeah fine. Uh, fun. Cheese broken. Maybe they Bonk. literally can't show Cheese's avatar. Fun. Table this time. Wait, what, when did Gio oh. get here? Oh, well, <laughs> a few minutes ago. Were, were you listening? My friends. <laughs> Gio no, he is always with us in our hearts, and the There's story must continue. I'm right here! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna miss him. He was a good one. My friends, I literally yeah, did I it with you! Hear his voice. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. ask your silence, friends. A final secret tunnel takes them up to some steep stairs. And into some long abandoned home. A chill wind whistles through cracks in the shutters, accompanied by the gentle grey of dawn, and the rain has since eased. The moth eaten rug breaks apart as the prince makes his way to the old dust covered bed. He sits and sighs. He is tired and hungry, and his stomach still churns. The brother goes to the window and peers outside, one hand on the handle of his sidearm. Was that always there? The prince wants to ask about it, and the Aegis, the Oracle, the Inquisitor, but his mouth is dry, and his jaw aches, and he, for the first time, is afraid of the only person who has always been there for him. I think it's safe here. Are you all right? His brother is looking at him. The prince nods, and the brother approaches and offers a water skin. Here, he says, have some. The prince looks at the water skin. The leather is carved with their royal emblem. He wants to take it. He wants to trust his brother. But he can't. You think I attacked the Aegis? The brother says, You think I killed the oracle? The prince looks down. Well, says the brother, I did one of those things. I attacked the Aegis. I didn't want to, but you must understand, I had no choice. I saw the Inquisitor with the oracle last night. I was going to speak with the Oracle about my coronation, but I overheard their conversation, what they said about you. I saw the fire in the Inquisitor's eyes, the blood spilling. The Oracle called you Oceanborn. The Inquisitor, 
he wields the power of miracles of fire. You know this. He thinks you were sent by the enemy. He thinks the Chosen One should be fireborn like he is. He... well, I don't really understand it in its entirety. But what I do know is... If I went to the Aegis for help, then she and everyone else in the castle would have faced the wrath of the Inquisitor, including Mother. This way, it's just us. This way, everyone else is safe from him. You understand, don't you? The prince slowly lifts his gaze to meet his brothers. Something about his voice, the way he's talking, he's never heard his brother sound so afraid. He can feel the Lodician pendant in his pocket. Look, the brother says, unbuckling his weapon. You still don't trust me. Take this. Wear it. Be the one to bear the blade. All right. The prince takes the sword from his brother. Sorry. The brother's stern visage is broken by a smile. Come on, we need to keep moving, he says. It won't be safe here for long. We need to get out of Moravos, and then... And then I'll figure out what to do next. We'll find allies, someone who can best the Inquisitor. The brother stands and offers a hand. The prince takes it, and they exit. My friends, let us follow them into the castle town of Moravos and help them find a way out. In that Christmas <laughs> Mm. Ah, fancy music. Oh yeah, but by the way, it's one hour out. If you need to go, you can go for the so. This is a different mm, whole I position. Can go a little longer. Eh. Yeah, oh, so oh, this place. Oh, I want to explore this place. No more. There's a break coming up. Like Timing. Ah, <laughs> uh, I see. Yeah, there's a break coming up. Yeah. 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 So that was chapter two. And somehow always then. busy. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> what? I'm just saying, just since this is a good, uh, good place. Just saying. Okay. My friends, oh, okay. stop. I believe we are ready for the story to continue. Please come in another carefully. event. I think. Not any names. Thanks for introducing Gio, me to this. The story is continuing. Coming again. And <laughs> see you later. <laughs> okay. Though the winds howl, the town is slowly waking up, ignorant of what transpired overnight. Rugs are shaken out of second-story windows. Farmers set up stalls to sell cucumbers, carrots, and cabbage. Smiths stoke their furnaces, while innkeeps sweep the past night's chaos out their front doors. The sun barely manages to break through the clouds. This way, the brother says suddenly, and he pulls the prince aside into some bushes. Not a minute later, a pair of zealots dressed in red approach a pair of city watchmen. Let it be known, says one of the zealots, that the princes are to be brought before the Dvina church if they are found. They have committed treason of the highest order. Truly. The prince can't see the guards' faces, but he can hear the confusion in their voices. Treason? What do you speak of? The heir murdered the oracle and has taken his younger brother as an hostage. The Inquisitor fears the heir is being compromised by the enemy. But the heir has faced Dacians on the battlefield. You mean to tell me he queens orders? The zealot snaps. If they are found, the Inquisitor must be notified at once. Failure to do so will result in being branded an enemy of the crown and of God. 
Very well. We shall spread the word. And the brothers are left alone again. Nobody can know who we are, the brother says. Don't say anything to anyone. Keep your hood up, and don't let anyone see anything you own. The guards won't let us out of the gates before checking who we are, and we'll definitely be recognized. We just need to... Hmm. All right. I have an idea. I know someone who could help us, but we need to get across town. The brother looks down the road. My friends, the brothers are about to begin their journey across Moravos, but they are going to need your help. Ooh, item quest. Tonight's travelers are Alizu and Ethan Memento. Please come and stand beside me. Friends, please. Alizu, Alizu. <laughs> it seems there is some what confusion among the NPCs. You One moment. What are the guards a little over <laughs> 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 okay, Very well. Tonight's NPCs, Alizu and Ethan Memento, here in front of me. Friends, please take a moment to enable their avatars. They are the NPCs for this quest, and they are very important. Uh, I can't turn on avatars to mm. other people right now. Uh, Use your menu. Uh, like yeah. menu. Go to add here. You can select them from the social pad. menu. Okay, yeah. good. Good, 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 good. Mm. Oh. Uh, good. I saw them acting up. Good. Acting the part. Okay, and no, like, yes, uh, now, this is what we should be seeing at each step. The NPCs mm. appear to be in their avatars. Alizu and Ether Memento. Please take a position somewhere in the city where you cannot hear me. And I will continue to explain the rules to the travelers. Hi, sir. Mm. Roger. <laughs> roger, roger. Travelers, listen carefully. Roger, roger. What's the game this quest again? requires that you are able to use your microphone. If you do not wish to speak, or if you think the NPCs know you too well, or if you want to opt out of this quest for any reason, this is fine. Please stand behind me. No, no. Everyone else, please take a minute to form Wait, shit, is that pairs bleachy? now. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm pairing up with bleachy. Choose. Do what? Okay. Z. If you would like. L man. L man. L man. Oh, pairs? No. Just to be clear. Oh my god. I'm going to turn up with you. And I know a place you'll like. Everyone else, please form pairs. Find a partner for this quest. And stand in your pairs so I can see where everyone is. I'm very good. Oh, no mic. I see. I missed the instructions. I mean, we're, we're supposed to pair up. We're pairing up. Oh, stick yeah. Yeah. Find the key today, That's correct. Actually, yeah, that's good. Everyone, well, please pair up. Do you have a teammate? Uh, <laughs> 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 you do. Seven, Seven people in private, private right pair. now. I think <laughs> five of them. Yeah. 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 Eight two seven oh wow. Like I said, I have super good specs. Nvidia GeForce RTX 3060, Intel Core i5 12100. Travelers, your attention, please. All this conversation tells me that everyone has a pair. Does anybody not have a pair? Please say right something. Are you <laughs> over here? Yep. Pack N2 and Kohora. You're missing me, mm -hmm. boss. There are a couple of others. Yeah. Like and Cal. Granny. Granny from Churn. Do the three of you not have oh. pairs? There you go. And Sumo no, I No pair here. Sumo and Granny, you two are a pair. Someone else who doesn't have pairs. 
Pack into it. Mm. We have a second pack. Into. Pack into. Oh. Very well. We got, we got Dole right here. We got Dole right, right here. There's someone named Pack Lover. Ah, Dull. I have avatars <laughs> hidden. Apologies, friends. Please come in my face and speak up if you are not in a oh. pair. Right here. <laughs> pack into oh and gosh. Dull I'm on. Let me go find Salty. You two are a pair. Yeah. Very well. The Dalai Mob is just here. <laughs> oh, there he is. Hello. Now, friends, the instructions must continue. This is what the NPCs will be doing. They will be somewhere in the city, and they will be addressing you and questioning you as pairs. If they do address you, you must answer their questions. Mm. No other conversation is allowed between the travelers and NPCs. Mm -hmm. This is what you all will be doing. Wander the city of Moravos, and please stay together as pairs. You may talk amongst yourselves, or with other travelers, you must answer all the NPC's questions truthfully, except the princes who must lie. Mm. The princes are a pair chosen by me, and I will choose now. <coughs> mm -hmm. Bony and Bone, Curlon, are you two a pair? Yeah. Yes. Very well. Your task tonight is to lie to the NPCs, but not let them know you're lying. Do you understand? Understood. Very well. Now, no role playing is necessary for this quest. You are answering questions about your real life. And nobody may give any indication whatsoever as to who the princes are. You may attempt to hide from the NPCs, but this may come across as suspicious. Mm. I will give you all ten minutes to run the city of Moravos. At the end of this time, you will hear the town bell. At this point, please come and find me. The NPCs will then privately discuss which pair they think were playing as the princes and lying to them. <laughs> Your goal is to keep the princes' identities secret. Mm. Anonymous. Hmm. Thank you. You're welcome, oh, we friends. It's easy. I don't even think I know. Well, uh, here we go. Uh, I, 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 Everyone I, I, is taken I, I, care of. Follow me, Kirby. I know oh, yes, that's 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 very well. Travelers, your time starts now. I'll follow you. Okay. Those behind me who are opting out, please follow me and I'll take you to the end where it's safe. Not This reminds me of home. Your home is black water? <laughs> oh, not really black water. I just like, I just like splashing around in the water. So no need. And now to wait. Down here in this alley, you won't be questioned down here. It is safe. Just try not to go to the edge of it, or they'll think, or NPCs might think you're one. Unfortunately, I have nothing prepared for us to do while everyone else is partaking in this quest. Nozomi and Salty Fry, are you opting out? Uh, opting out for what? If you're partaking in the, if you're partaking in the Salty quest, Fry, Trade Gem, is someone who I just brought here. 
they are fresh to the world. Put that there. I feel like somebody needs to patch that up. Ah, I, like we need to I see. That. You have just joined the story. Hello, Carolyn. Did you find the Mixilis? No, no, no. We have started a quest where well, everyone has formed groups of two. So for now, I think we need to. Very well, Red Moss. Okay. I think we need to have you wait here, Salty Fry, with the people who have opted out of this quest. In just a few minutes, we'll be continuing the story. We are happy to have you among us. Those of you who have opted out of the quest, May I politely ask mm. that you explain to Salty what is going on? <laughs> Someone who's not sick, do it. <laughs> Sheen. Sheen, my friend, my, uh, my friend joined off me. My friend joined off and I don't think they know to come here. Could you, do you think you'd be able to get them? I just wrecked my controller. <laughs> So, during this quest, no. we're all supposed yes, to Yes, the, the, the name is Samara. I, 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 I know they're here in the world, I believe. During the but, period uh, of the queue, the rest of the, most of the group is here. going to be going around and being questioned okay. by the NPCs. Okay, Gio, tell your friend to go to spawn, and I will go there Trigen now to meet them. And then there's a group that Trajan has chosen them. to lie to the all NPCs. Right. And the NPCs are all supposed right. to choose right. which one are the liars. Oh, okay, okay. Alright. I check if they're already there. Did you say it wasn't uh, shaking, shaking enough? It's a bit more like we have the Among Us. Oh! <laughs> okay. That's okay. Now we gotta keep walking. Come on, let's move. Let's keep exploring. Yeah, yeah. Like the... First time here. Like Fuck, we can't actually go through here. Mm. We both have that drip. Of course. Yes. <laughs> the ones that have the only drip. Honestly, I don't want to get close to that thing. We got good ass drip. Give me your fry. Show me your fry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what's up? What's up? What you want? <laughs> hey, well, what I answer a riddle while we wait? <laughs> sure, why not? You've made a <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right, let me remember how it goes. Okay. A police officer hopes you break the law. A doctor hopes you should oh, injure. Right. A contractor hopes you are homeless. But only I will wish you wealth. Who am I? I am one of the local guards, and I'm going to have a lightning round of double questions for all four of you. Oh, that one. <laughs> I like it though. <laughs> that would have been great during the pilot. Um, let's see. The IRS or the government for taxes. Everyone fucking says that. No, that is not the answer. Dang it. <laughs> well, I mean... Be a little it's more broad head. or general. Yes. Broad or general? Hmm. A bank. So. No. Bank. <laughs> nah, that doesn't work. Well, Ragnaros got back. Dang. <laughs> I'm actually stumped, because who would want, who would want to see you be rich? I mean, you have the, well, yeah, taxes and all that. But then you have the bank who wants you to be rich, because more money means better profit for them. But also, uh, stores and companies want you to be rich, because then you sell, spend your money. Hello, do you have an answer? It's gonna be something so simple that it would be like, really? Why? <laughs> I'm going to solve that. That is parents. correct. <laughs> it was something simple. <laughs> oh, what do they do? <laughs> you're not like you. Congratulations, you're the first person I've met who's gotten that first try. <laughs> Mm. 
No, I, I mean, I was thinking of someone who wants to benefit from it, sec. not from someone. Roger, Roger. Yeah. <laughs> Nefarious. <laughs> Roses are red. Viola oh, Charlie. Classic one. A lot of people know I this have one. Five fingers. Yo. What gets bigger the more you take away? <laughs> I love this one. It's a hole. Correct. It's my body. Oh, salty. The fuck is up with Roses are red. My outlets are blue. I have five fingers. You can have two. Let me see him. Let me see him. Ah! Take it. 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 Again, back here. Mm -hmm. yeah. <gasps> I had to be back. Okay, so uh, I am ba I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to get I got preoccupied. They are still here. They are here. I just I thought they had to leave the end. They're faulty. They, they did because they were See, pretty She is currently speaking happened. with someone. Oh. It may be your friend. Oh, that's, that's, that's my friend. That's my friend. That is. It is my friend. I I, I no know. Problem. I'm here. Okay. Got some pretty cool avatars here tonight. All avatars Yo. require head pads. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Y'all salty boy! Let me eat that bacon off you boy! I like your leather... I have a third riddle. It's what? another leathery. simple one. <laughs> no, my bacon! <laughs> yes, oh, I love it. Within me, you will see yourself. No. Drag me, and you will only witness more. What am I? My back is hard, friends. I'm already, I'm already uh, tan, boy. I think it was the first time. I'm taking the mirror, but my controller turned off? I had to try to make it pull. Right. Correct, it was a mirror. <laughs> I don't really use that kind of stuff, I just kind of make my own. Hey, it looks a lot better, better and your avatar looks a lot better now. This gauntlet was fun. Well, that doesn't... Or the yeah, it doesn't matter. I've always had one. Oh, but still. Feels like it's 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 excuse button. me, this oh, is Did you not hear the riddle? Gonna make stuff like that. Oh, uh... Within me, you see yourself. Strike me, and you will only witness more. What am I? Yeah, I see them now. <laughs> what? Oh, you know what? I think it was this guy over here. Hey, yo, quit tricking my mind. Mike working? Uh, I'm not that smart. That makes it believable. Yeah, it works now. I think. This is legit. I'm playing the role. Yeah. I'm playing the role. Yeah. Hello, Samara. Welcome back. This is the tour guide of the tour, Trajan. I'm honored to introduce you. That lets you know I'm German. Good evening. Do you give up? We are just about to continue. The answer is a mirror. In fact, ding. Ding. So which version is better? Oh. I totally Ding. didn't rip that from the Riddler of one of the Batman Ding. games. Ding. 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 Over here. Come along. Ding. I want to be in the windows. <laughs> That's some intense ding. Ding dong. Bing bong, bring it on. Ding dong, the witch is dead. The witch is dead. The witch is dead. <laughs> Hey, uh, Trajan, quick question. I don't want to get back to the news. If this character were to have some sort of plot with Ether, do you think there could be like a little side quest for VR Traveler's lore? Is that true? Oh. I don't understand what you're asking. I know that my own tweets. Okay. Oh, I was just thinking no, that uh, me and like Elman were discussing us something about Ether, and I was wondering if I could have like some sort of lore here with VR travelers. Because since since my months away from um, from this place, I realized that Protag has a voice, and Elman now has like memories of his of his friend or something. It's like a dimming. And that got me thinking. That is even here, dude. 
Come to me after the talk. Come to me after the talk. Certainly. Until then, we don't have Mixolets. Please read the handbook. I just wanted to ask us all. We have Laura there. Yeah, there's that too. Please continue. I'm sorry. Please read the handbook. Birds and pelicans. I will show. English. Friends, right now, the two NPCs are discussing who they think we're playing the princes tonight. I ask your patience as they come to a conclusion together. I'll be right back. It seems like we have an imposter among us. Hmm. Hmm. I was gonna get ejected. Hmm. What? I wish only to hear your voice. I said a pastor among us. Oh, well, yes. 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 to someone else, I think. May we please be also. friends? <laughs> By the way, Salty, at the start of the, of the story, their father was not among us. Either. Ooh. You want to get milk? Alright, just two more hours before yeah. the story Good finishes. Breeze. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just counting down the minutes. Was. Can't wait to get away from us. Huh? Enter me for a moment. Didn't yeah. stay with us. We are almost halfway through tonight's event. She did not. She departed shortly <laughs> after. Oh, well, that's not too bad. We're making good time. Yes, yes, yes. Your hands yes, too I think I almost <laughs> feel. I think I almost became one with Sheen. Even talk afterwards. The Sheen. I heard somebody say, "Enter me." <laughs> oh my! Oh my God! Hell, man! How scandalous! German entered in the house. I was literally for a moment. I saw she walked right into me, like, and then suddenly it's over there. Hear me? Has... Okay. My. My. I didn't know. Oh, no, that. That. Just hang tight. Huh. A lot more purpose than I expected. <laughs> Hopefully, this will be some the, uh, ether uh, nonsense or more or whatever. <laughs> Yeah, the okay, what? you know what? I will Either ignore the ripping and you know, mm -hmm. and I will go get some uh, cake. Again, 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 again. I feel nothing. You, you I'm look, a desktop. You look to get a giant panda right fat. That's kind of a bad idea. I'm, I'm being, I mean, I'm, I'm being oh, oh, honest. Oh, oh, hey. Yeah. I mean, you can try and punch me and see if I can block it. Yes. Maybe that either. Alright. Uh oh. Uh oh. We should. Uh oh. We should help. Punch? Yes, I blocked it. Oh, shit. The story can continue. If anybody says enter me, they're talking about a subconscious connection. Definitely not talking about cornbread. I wish they were talking about cornbread. You know, I would say let's do a staring contest, Sheen, but I don't know where your eyes are. I've got a question. I'm gonna avoid like cornbread. Green, I'm hungry. What the pack? What the fuck? Sheen's eyes are infinite. You would lose an infinite amount of times. Can we get oh, a cornbread? Who said that? Oh. Why is there energy? Fall on part Yes, yes, I will. I mean, I already lose uh, against Trajim in staring contests, so. I'm not surprised. <laughs> oh, Lord. Engineer Gaming. You like Dr. Lal videos? <laughs> Uh, Shit, that's a bad destination. Oh, oh lord. I'm in hell! <laughs> Come to the decision. <laughs> Alright, back to being cute, Mermaid. Actually, this is heaven. Doesn't get any better. Your life is all down here. I was about to offer them a riddle to kill some time. Very well. My friends, the quest has come to a close, and it is time for the NPCs to present their accusation. Ether Memento, Alazu, who do you think was lying to you? They may could have been not lying, or could have not, though they didn't stick around for very long. I would suggest, due to the fact that they were in a hurry, it would be Robotic, Diarmid, and Jake. Diarmid, Robotic, and Jake, you were in a trio, is this accurate? Yes. Y yes. Very well. I'm over here, Diarmid. <laughs> the NPCs have stated Aww. that they think the princes were being represented by Diamond, Robotic, and Ailgit Jake. Now, thank you. Please return to the crowd. Will those who are playing as the princes tonight please come forth? Step forward, loves. I need to take it over. Oh, Caroline. Mm. 
Blade. That's right. Curlon and Boney and Bone. Nope. Never those mentioned. were. No. Those were tonight's princes. Mm -hmm. That's four for four on the um, travelers versus NPCs here. I think. Well, four for zero. I think. Not that anyone's counting. Thank you, friends. The story must continue, and the outcome of this quest has changed the path of this narrative. Mm. This is what happens. As he walks across Maravos, the prince tries to shrink back into his cloak. His brother strides ahead, swift and confident. How does he do it? Every Moravian looks at them, stares at them, do they know? Do they know who they are? Suddenly he bumps into his brother as he comes to an abrupt stop on a bridge. He looks past his brother. A city watchman is there, talking to an elderly couple across the bridge. What the guard's this? back is to them. The brother backs up and guides them another way. The prince glances over at the old couple. He can see the old woman looking at him. She points the guard in the opposite direction. He smiles at her. A short while later, the prince stops. What's that noise? rumbling, grinding. It's the storm. Ooh, screen goes blue again. Mm -hmm. Um, boo. An Damn, image closing his eyes. rushes up from the depths, <laughs> rising to meet him. Amidst vague, towering structures, a blue bird flits, darting from corner to corner, desperate. Giving pursuit is a red feline, stalking calmly, yet appearing in places where it should not be. The bird is frantic, its movements urgent and panicked. It tries to stay silent, yet every beat of its wings betrays its location. Everything begins to redden. My friends, you have a choice to make. As before, the prince has four options. Descend, divulge, Dwell and distract. I will give you all two minutes to discuss what you think he should do. After this time expires, I will call upon one of you poor souls to give an answer. Your time starts now. Mm. I say we dwell. Which would be probably the best dwell. answer. Dwell. I'll be with me. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Your mic died. Well, I'm just gonna go with the to the 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 Give the impression. We're basically just studying what the floor is going to happen. I might just gonna have those moments. Our choices matter. We don't know how to do this. We haven't figured out how to do anything yet. Careful, she writes. So honestly, just listen to the group and like. The chair is G-Mod clipping through the ground. Oh. I'm gonna see if I can fix it. Give me your head, cheese. <laughs> He's like right in the stuff to pop off the head. <laughs> it's it's stuck in the chair. <laughs> Just because he can pop off the head doesn't mean you should. Come on. <laughs> <laughs>
But you're a Lego person. This doesn't kill you. Whoa! Got it. Are there any bleeding series? Miles told me to. Not that, not that, not that. I meant like in the vision. With the vision. The brother just kind of brushes it off. Oh, I don't know how it is. For the first three top the eight. Double head pants. Never mind then. Oh, it's really good. Bitch, kill one. The one in the windowsill. And we go. I mean, you're here then. Um, they've been around for more than a few tours, but they are very active. They've been around. Also, what are we? What are we thinking? Are we thinking? Great uh, uh, I think descend. Yeah, think so. Yeah, Travelers, your time has ended. Uh, <laughs> oh. Oh. You enjoying it up there? Guess we do dwell again. Do we dwell again? I am going to call upon one by the name of Luna Gardner. Luna Gardner. Descend, divulge, dwell, distract. Dwell. What is your choice? Okay, but, um, dwell. <laughs> I believe that distract is the best choice in this instance. Dwell, dwell, dwell. Because there's red in the Don't you whisper in their ears. Yeah, yeah, I suppose we should position. first ask, do we, yes. do you speak? Well, making it really your If you do not speak, oh, wait, use the chat box like feature. Yeah, I feel the yes. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, we are yeah, yeah they, they're mute. I've just been talking to them. Do you know how to access the chat box feature? They're throwing up threes. They're throwing up threes. Oh, I, thought you were, I thought you were saying... I don't think uh, they do. Uh, what, was your, what was the third thing you listed, Trey? The third option? Not you, but... Dwell. Yeah, then oh, all up there. Very well. Yes. Yeah, then... Very creative. Travelers, well done. The option oh. Dwell has been chosen. Now we gotta figure Once out more. how to get ever, all the newer ones to pick Detach, the last one. The, that's... <laughs> harder said than the prince lets the vision occupy the back of his mind. Threats of violence. What are these structures? They look so tall and foreign, but perhaps that's just the bird's point of view. It reminds him of a memory from years ago. A memory he thought he had lost. And what of the cat? Unnaturally red, utterly determined, possessed by some kind of magic. Back to regular colors again. Yeah. Hey, hey, are you all right? His brother is holding the prince's shoulders. More visions. You know you shouldn't let them get you so much. You need your strength. Look, we're almost... The brother suddenly yanks the prince down behind a stone fence. I saw him. The brother's face is white. The Inquisitor. 
he he didn't see us, I think. All right. I think he's gone. Have I been asked, Have I been asked something? This way. I know someone who might be able to help us. My friends, the story continues. Ding. 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 All right. I was being stared at. Yeah, this all, all low-key feels like something like Zelda. <laughs> These nuts. <laughs> yeah, it's glowing. <laughs> Hi, hello, I am oh, yes, place. indeed. This is very oh, beautiful. Oh, I'm feeling most oh, motivated now. So cute, Sir Wait, I get the feeling we miss something though. <laughs> what you know, coffee? What do you mean? It's impossible to miss you, dear panda. No, not me. No. But like, we didn't. Did we have the dialogue of the Sleep. dialogue Mr. to miss him? Meet that bacon boy. Speaking of dialogue, who is the brother? Takes the prince to a nearby brother. house. Checks the street. He's what? Then mm -hmm. knocks on the door. Inside you. Moments later, the door creaks ajar, and an elderly man peers out. He says but one word. You. And he glances beyond them, his expression grave. The prince shrinks back. How bold that you would show up on my doorstep. His mouth twists and he sniffs once. I had a feeling you might appear, he says. Then the wrinkles on his face deepen as he smiles. He opens the door wide and invites them in. Old paintings sit crooked upon the walls and cobwebs collect dust in the corners. But the home is sturdy, and the cold is kept at bay. And the prince feels a little more at ease. The old man makes his way to a stool with the help of his cane, and the prince notices a glimmering sword displayed on the mantel above the fireplace. Come, the old man says, holding up a jug. You must be thirsty. The brother accepts a cup. This is wine, he says. Of course, it'll ease your troubles. Go on. The brother takes a sip, as does the prince. It tastes bad. It bites at his tongue, but there's a hint of fruit. The old man drinks straight from the jug. So, he says, I suppose you are here to tell me the full story. You've heard from the zealots, then? Asks the brother. You think a retired veteran like me gets all his information from a single source? I've heard them say that you murdered the oracle and fought your way out of the castle. You even attacked the silver aegis, but that's not all true, is it? Actually, the brother looks down to his wine. The oracle is dead. But it wasn't me, or my brother. And I did attack the Aegis. I had to. The veteran has another swig of wine, swills it, and regards the brother with a long look. Mm-hmm. Well, you know what's going to happen next, don't you? Once word gets out that both royal heirs are missing, traitors or no, Dacia's going to advance again. They're cunning. 
They'll take advantage of this predicament just like they did at Lake Fort where this all started. I'll wager it won't be long till they take Felden. That place has been a pit since the Baron was killed, what, a decade ago? I hear they've already started infiltrating those old walls. Dacia. Lake Ford. The brother's knuckles go white. But we can't go back to the castle. The Inquisitor is too powerful. He's gone mad. You say you want me to face him? <laughs> Young sire, I may have been the best swordsman in Lazarus in my day, but with all due respect, that is madness. You haven't read the Crimson Vanguard? That man is capable of terrifying things. Then the brother glances at the prince for a moment. What do we do? Who can help us? Who else is there? The smile gently leaves the veteran's face. Best I can do, young sires, is get you out of these walls. He gets up using his cane, making his way back across the dusty stone floor. Back during your grandfather's reign, we had tunnels built beneath Moravos. Most were narrow and used for emergencies, but some were large enough that there were houses down there, cut into the stone. Given that you're here, it seems you've used one to escape. But there are many more. I'm likely the last one alive who knows where every entrance can be found. And, of course, what sort of tactician would I be without my own personal escape? Help me move this, would you? The brothers assist, and behind a wooden cabinet is an old door. This leads to the underworks, the veteran says. There may be others down there looking for you, but it's dark. You should be able to just leave. Cross the cistern, and you'll come out near the eastern road. My thanks. The brother opens the door and guides the prince in before him. And I'm sorry, he says, turning back to the veteran. Sorry? Nonsense. It'll take much more than a strike from you to slow her down. I don't mean for her. The brother grabs the cane from the veteran and strikes him across the legs with it. The old man cries out for help and topples backwards, and the brother pulls the cabinet back in place behind him. My friends, this way. Oh no! Is this mic a little bit better? Oh. Super <laughs> sus. So so You're a Zelda dungeon. Man, I hope there's a way to change it. Because <laughs> <laughs> we are the implications. Uh, You're the water I'm temple a Zelda of Ocarina of Time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Man. Jeez. You went there. Oh, remaster version. Okay. Okay. Like it, say how you want. Oh, oh, Continues. It's literally Ocarina of Time. I know. The air down here is musty, stifling. Somewhere in the distance, water trickles and dribbles. Rodents dance along the remnants of what look to be underground buildings. What is this place? Why is there a city beneath the city? Faint patches of light leaking through from somewhere above reveal the path ahead. I'm sorry you had to see that, the brother says. The prince cannot make out his face in the low light. The Inquisitor has to think that we forced our way in. I, I, I just... The brother doesn't finish. He just begins to walk. 
my friends. This way. Proceed. Right. Let's go, boy. Parkour time. Last one over is a stinky zealot. What even is a zealot? <laughs> Shoot. In this context, a zealot is a fanatical member of a certain church, or you could even say a cultist of some kind. We are not a cultist. I am a zealot. Click the door to proceed through the next map. Go ahead. Okay. Don't friends. Let's see what the stinky zealot is your way of doing it, and then my way of doing it. Ah, will it be Sheen? Well, you see, no. I knew he was a stinky zealot. Click the door, friends. Click the door, and wait for me on the next map. There we go. Go through, hey, friends. Go through. Do not wait. Do not doubt. Panda, did you just see it? To the next map. Panda, did you just see it? There is it's no cheating, cheating because there are no rules. Go through to the next map, friends. <laughs> Go through. I am role-playing rules. Oh, no, just... <laughs> yes, exactly. I hit the button. I Go through, the friends. Map. Proceed to the next map. I click the button. The I door has no map. collision. Don't walk through it. Just go through again. It should work. I believe the hyper is trying to get our attention. I I call first dibs. Friends and travelers, your it's attention, delicious. please. <laughs> At this point in the story, we have a designated break for you. Have a snack, rehydrate, and use the restrooms if you need to. Please, everyone be back here within four minutes for the story to continue. Bring the soup. Oh. Bring, bring the dinosaur soup. Yeah, that also. was totally one delicious one soup. Yeah, yeah, totally. Totally. I did not vomit in the corner there. Oh, 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 Sorry, I got some money further. This is actually really good. Uh, yeah, let me grab a bottle. Yeah. yeah, let me. When oh, oh, hey. my, uh, Can we make some tomato soup? Yeah. 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 You know, yeah. my trident can also be used as a giant fork. You can also stir the pot. So in the art chat, you go to cameras. Oh, he's uh, coming, Salty. You're coming? Yeah, let me just... Uh, uh, so camera, you can turn on Steadicam. So you know, people people who are... Now, say you're screaming. Like you're checking from your point of view. It's stable. So instead of the jerking this, it stabilizes it. What? Okay, someone get rid of that giant Among Us thing. It's only in VR. What is going on? It's only in VR, but... Like I said, very, very minor bug. Just letting you know. I appreciate you having me here. This is actually a very interesting experience. I wish that there was a murder again. Wait, so we're not done. No, I, no, I, I'm certain I'm gonna go. Uh, it's, it's a lot of, a lot of people. That was not necessarily. Yeah, the, the, a lot. Yeah, this is also like this, this part you knew. Yeah. So, yeah. can we come back to this at some point in the future? No, I think it's weekly. weekly. Oh, if only Protag was here. Good. So, it was like the next Saturday then. Alright, come by next Saturday. Oh! Uh, uh,
what soup is this? Have a good night. Somebody help me catch Luna Gardner. We need more soup. You know, I can't wait. I'm playing with an idea like this all in my head. Would you care for some fish soup? I made it public too. I'm not much of a seafood. Would you care for some human soup? I'm not a cannibal. Not really. I mean, I'm, a I'm, I'm more into human, fish. But I'm basically sort of artificial. I mean, I'm part fish and I eat fish, so circle of life, I guess. Cannibalism. I would have made a milkshake right now, but four minutes enough. Yeah, even even this yellow cat. Yellow cat taught me how to how to like texture things. You know, I recently got a lot of your drill attack. Yeah, yeah, this is the yellow cat I know. Okay, my eyes. And I'm trying to look at I would fit perfectly at home in there. I'm not giving you my gauntlet. I like to see a tour, like see a tour, like see a tour titled The Mermaid. Did you pay him? Not because... Yeah. Well, then make it your own. I mean, the game... I'm taking her. Don't make it for sure. Can you just get one? Just for a second. Maybe when you get some second, you want to get a tour. I can just see the gauntlet. More pets have been requested. Maybe. Maybe for like a season three. Maybe for like a season three. I just gotta find for VR chapter. I can run the guild one. Oh, it's up to you, man. It's over. It's over. I went to VR. Yes, it's for those who are. I'm in the metal. Time to team pose. Do, do I need real okay, okay, can I I do have more than one. I actually have something else. I think I know what I'm going to borrow. I'm like, oh, god damn it, we had the same idea. I'm more cute now. I'm still searching for it. I think we're gathering. I believe we're gathering. Don't make me slash Oh, no, 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 no. Is the head of the story is going to continue? She's like involved in it. Yeah, I know that, but like... Okay, I, I can tell you a bit more afterwards as well, so just... Chapter 3. Yeah. It's after yeah, sundown, by the time the brothers emerge. The Underworks Tunnel led them to an old mill, and from there they followed trails until coming upon the eastern road. Moravos looms in the distance gently glowing in the moonlight as the prince slumps to the ground. His legs and feet ache, his stomach growls, he's tired and sore and short on breath. His brother is just checking through a bag he's carrying. 
How does he do it? How does he keep going? Comic attack? The prince bites his lip. He didn't mean to say that out loud. Go back. The brother lifts his head. Go back and what? Face the fireborn? He'll kill you. And then he'll kill me or lock me away as well. He'll tell everyone that the oracle chose him and nobody could disagree. The Varna church will change forever. Mother will will be powerless to stop him, and then Daesh will invade, and the people will have to live under one of two monsters. We're not going back, not until I find a way to stop the Inquisitor, and while I search, I'm going to, I'm going to stop the Dacians. We will go to Felden and warn them. We will help defend the town. I'll kill every Dacian if I have to. We can still make a difference. I won't have another lake for it. Do you hear me? We still stop it. Please stop. You're scaring me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I... I just... It's just you and me. There's nobody else who can save us. Listen. His brother squats before him. I'm scaring you. I see that. I don't like to see you so afraid. But I'm... I'm doing what must be done. I'm... Do you remember... when you were little... and we found that nest in the old tower? We spotted the mother, a blue wing, coming back to feed her chicks that evening. We named them, too. Dusty, Scylla, and... Pickle. <laughs> yes, Pickle. Little Pickle. And then the cat found the nest. The mother bird fought fiercely, but you asked me why that happened. Do you remember what I said? Varna is kind. Life is cruel. That's right. Right now, two little birds have to leave the nest. The cat is after them. If the birds aren't in the nest, then the mother can fly to safety and the cat can't reach her. But the cat is sly. It's going to try to trick the other animals into helping it. So the little birds might have to do some things that seem bad so that they don't get eaten. They have to... Well, learn to fly, I guess. Or perhaps find another cat who will help them. The prince nods slowly. He can see how hard it is for his brother. He doesn't want to do the things he's doing. But he has to. They need to survive. He wants to reach out for his brother. He wants to hug him. But he can't bring himself to move. We can go through the Duke's world, the brother says, standing. It will be dangerous, but it's the fastest way to Felden. Do you still have my... The brother stops and looks down. The prince is there, hugging him tightly. Hey, it's all right. Look, when this is all over, we will sail to... To Lydicia, the sacred lands. We will go together, just you and me. Would you like that? The prince wipes his face. 
Lutetia, really? Do you swear? The brother smiles, and the world gets a little brighter. I swear. My friends, the brothers have a perilous task ahead. They must cross the Duke's world in the dark of night, and they are going to need your help. Please follow me. Follow the hey, hi, Captain. For another nightmarish evening. Is this the Lost Woods? Hold on. Yeah. Lost <laughs> Woods. <laughs> I carry Kazoo with me at all times. <laughs> Damn, look at these monsters. <laughs> Mario, did your trackers oh, die? Spooky. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that <laughs> Mephilus? So that's oh my why goodness. he's all haunting looking is because his trackers died? Just said. That's actually scary. Mario <laughs> becoming uncanny. Just coming up to me. You're uncanny. <laughs> yeah, but this one... Imagine Mario becoming <laughs> just... well, ether looks it, cool. It's literally a I'll Mephilus monster from Sonic 06. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, a cool monster design. That's game. a scary as hell monster design. <laughs> That's just. I think cool. it's very cool looking. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Pretty impressive. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Hey, Cog, look at the monsters. Bring up Sonic Six. Oh. <laughs> I just did. Dismay. So in Travelers. <gasps> Here's a good I have a quest mm -hmm. for you. Later. Later. And quests come with rules. NPCs. Al oh god. Alazu. <laughs> and Ether Memento. Please, <laughs> friends, make sure you still have their avatars shown. <laughs> what did he say? He said, uh, he turned to him and went, oh god. <laughs> that avatar is the equivalent of a flashbang. For now, for now, everybody must stay here, but NPCs, do you know who is roll one and roll two, uh, roll A and B, excuse me? Uh, Ether will be menacing. I see a nod and a shrug. <laughs> the teleport this is kidding. exciting. <laughs> Very well. So roll A is teleporting, roll B is chasing. <laughs> now, NPCs. Please go through to the next map, NPCs, and follow the instructions. I want to Everyone else, remain here. Smell. Are they gone? Thank goodness. They're gone. Probably. What crimes? <laughs> 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 My friends, the Duke's Mario in real life is not a safe haven, but it does bear resources that they may need on their journey. The rules for your quest. Star as follows. Navigate your way through the Duke's world, which, according to legend, is haunted. <clears throat> Track as many resources well, as you can. Time. Each traveler has five bundles of wood and five clusters of berries to find. Avoid the Duke's world phantom. Its terror will render you immobile for several seconds, costing you your valuable time. Whoa. The Phantom is able to teleport to any Phantom Fire at, at any point in time, so you must stay alert. You yeah. are being observed. Friends, please That's avoid not. using avatars that are really big or really small or invisible. Once you have completed your mission, you can either make your way to the end where I will be waiting for you, or you can stay behind to act as a distraction for the Phantom. Please do not use teleportation shortcuts while partaking in this quest. After your five minute timer expires, 
all remaining resources will disappear and you will be escorted to the end. Oh my fucking god. And for those who have done this before, there are a couple of secrets in the forest mm -hmm. waiting for you. A couple of new surprises. Well, oh. Oh. okay. Oh. Let me make sure the NPCs are ready. I vote we leave oh, equalization as sacrifice to the How do you do NPCs that? so we can. Good you idea. Can play sure. we don't run I'm more adorable than you. You'll be sacrificed first. Babe. <laughs> Wait, we're doing sacrifices now? Can How do you do that? Because I just sacrifice. kind of looked up inside camera and your okay, camera just Raise your hand for the equalization. You can fly around with now. Raise your hand if you want Elman to die first. Pretty cute. Uh, hmm? Check it. Wait, yeah, that's that's a cool. I have four yeah. hands, so that counts, right? Yeah, that counts, Rex. Are you guys. Oh my god. Oh, that changes everything. I mean, I could go first if you want. Are you flying your camera? And we won't have our emergency now. Now. Yeah, she's flying the camera. Uh, I want to that changes everything. Uh, I've already uh, lived my life long enough to Hello. the seas right. that turn. That's so cool. Oh, hmm? Sheen did a new voice. What? I'm not hearing anything mm -hmm. from the NPCs. I'm going to go ahead and assume that they are ready. Ready. <laughs> Are you ready? No. My friends, your five minutes Maybe. starts right now. Ooh, the timer. Hey, gamers. Oh, Why is it your Minecraft lava? Yeah, a little fun here anyway. Rock. I like it. I like it. Watch out for fire. I want to get good at this. I want to be a real gamer. Okay. Uh, I'm disappointing my parents. Why did I not fly? There's one. Zero. One one. One berry, two berry, three berry, four. It was randomly generated. Interesting. Oh, it shows. I don't have to keep track of it. Oh, sweet. It's not down on HUD. Oh, shit. Shit fire in your ass is greatest on my right. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, god damn it. Oh, this is your fault. Bye. Bye -bye. Because you're standing next to me and I'm, you're convenient to blame. Two berries. Hey boy. Oh shit, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Oh, the fucking terror. They got me. I'm so confused. Just to let you know, I, I still can't see anything. Except for this thing. Oh, wood. I need wood. I need wood. Where's wood? Where would I? Wood. Yes. Where would I find it? Can I just use my auto clicker and just randomly click everywhere? <laughs> yeah. Should I do that? And Woody, how do you? Where would I find it? Hmm. Ah. Wood. Having a problem getting this wood. Okay, need two more stacks. Uh, how much do we need? Five of each. Oh, 
you know, it really sucks because everything is so black and white. I'm amazed I haven't met Mario again. Thank God I haven't. I think I do it. Everything I need to find. A lot of wood in the center if you haven't uh, already uh -huh. found three, it. Four. I found like three, three wood in the center. Mm. I don't know if you've already gotten it. But... I don't know where to go. Where is it? Where is it? Is it? What in the heck? I've covered every square inch of this and I cannot spot anything. I'm ready to walk. I can't spot anything. What the heck? There is what nothing. This isn't going well. I don't see anything. Who can lie? Right now. Mm-hmm. I managed to find everything at the last yeah, second. Yeah, I got perfect score well, last time. Yeah, like perfect score. Nice. Nice. Yeah, 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 Thank you. you. Perfect. It is, in my opinion, better to go around. Perfect score this. Is, this is the strategy. I was doing that. Go around. You go around in one direction. Then you go through yeah. the middle. It's like a plus. Then you go around in the other direction. We actually made the soup. We actually were able to make soup. It must have a strong map. Because they went Oh, you gotta cook the fish first. So you can cut panda. Hey, Cap Panda, wouldn't that be more appropriate over there? No, I'm not. Nah, it's fine. Okay, fine. I'm trying to find secret items. You're calling me cute. I can't find secret items. You are cute. There's two campfires. One's pixely, one's... Do you have it? Maybe the secret is the friends that we made along the way. Ah! No, dude, I just uh, wrecked I my eyes. This is the real, real Sonic Adventure Four. 3. Oh, okay. So, like, uh -huh, I'm a hologram. You can't oh, play okay. Okay. All right. you Let me go to the You can't choke me, choke me either. You ju you're just phasing nah. through me. I'm a hologram. You just wrecked my eyes. Believing that. So good at this. I turned colors okay, back well, and my, can, my brain uh, just uh, fucking died. If you play no straight roads, you'll know why. <laughs> basically, like, <laughs> make sure that we only go through each room once. Oh. Sonic 06 is a real like adventure. Like, so, Legacy of Solaris proves that. Oh, Sheen has to rejoin the world. We will wait for him. Uh, what a I loser. like Silver the Hedgehog, that's my second die. favorite. Oh, no, I like him in 06. Don't talk about Sheen that way. <laughs> Did Curlon die? Jammer, did I have a Sheen or Save for the Half of the Cap and Panda last time? Did Sheen die? Who's doing this? I'm sorry, I'm playing with Sheen. I might say that it might be a good idea to have a just to let you know, Jin had to be marred because he had the bug that happened to Panda when he was doing today. Yes, thank you. I'm not sure if I'm going to get a little bit of 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 a little
to the Reveals, um, dwelling. I mean, I suppose if I try to the dwelling reveals, um, he explains what the vision means. And the I also think that the dwelling also could be to the place something Travelers and travelers and friends, I ask for your attention. Please lend me your attention, friends. Lend me your focus. Lend me your conscience. No, not that. <laughs> lend me your conscience. No, not that. Someone write that down. Travelers, for those interested, you have all collected an average of seven. Hmm. Will that be enough to influence the story? Let's find out. Interesting. I mean, five was supposed to be enough. One must be eight or more. The brothers come to a clearing. No, it wasn't actually. A steep river cuts through the middle of it. Nearby. Moss-covered bricks sit, indifferent as the forest slowly consumes them. The boys drink and refill their flasks and wash their faces. The prince catches a glimpse of himself in the glittering water. He barely recognizes this face. He looks unkempt, disheveled, common. He pulls his cloak in tight and sits back. We can rest here tonight, the brother says, gathering some sticks together. The prince watches as his brother soon has a small fire burning. He lies down beside it as the brother sits against an old piece of masonry. The prince stares at the fire, and the flames stare back. His face is warm. His back is cold. How does he do it? The prince thinks to himself. How does he keep going like this? I just want to hide. He's good at everything. I'm not good at anything. The past few days catch up to him. And within minutes he slips into a deep sleep. Wake up. Come on, wake up. The prince is shaken, awake. The sky is a soft blue-gray, and the brother is crouched over him, looking at something else. There are voices nearby. The prince rubs his eyes and turns to look. Across the river are soldiers in black, carrying spears and swords, with foreign emblems on their shields. They're pushing a cart through the clearing. the brother whispers, gritting his teeth. Either they're preparing to besiege Felden, or they've already taken it. Hmm. Maybe I can find their camp, find their general, and... He looks down at the prince, and his expression softens. Let's get a closer look. We need to know what they're up to. They gather their things and scoop dirt over the charcoal and carefully make their way across the river to the other side of the clearing. My friends, Dacians are dangerously close. This way. We do. Oh, I don't think we really need to worry about Dacians. They're just Dacians. Hmm. Can we see the other vision? Dacians are Bastions. Uh, I think the minimum is eight to get the vision. Probably. Yeah.
You'll probably see the one who can recommend uh, requesting headpats for you next week. The brothers hide in the undergrowth. Yeah, somebody's watching through my. The party. outer walls of Felden bloom over the trees, scarred by past battles, defaced by nature. There's a large gathering of Dacian soldiers just outside the small gate. They're taking supplies inside. So. Felden has already been taken by Dacia. Maybe they were already here. There are too many of them, the brother whispers. But maybe I can... The brother creeps forward a couple of steps, lifting himself a little higher. The prince's heart jumps. Is he just going to run in and find them? How are they not seeing him? When the gate is clear, I'll run inside and hide in the town. I'll find you. What? I'm going to draw them away. Are you ready? I... I think so. The brother turns back to the Dacians. There are at least seven of them left, after the rest went inside with a handcart. The brother scoops up a fist-sized rock into one hand, and he waits. Without warning, the brother jumps to his feet and breaks into a sprint. He ditches the rock at a soldier and it strikes him square in the helmet. There's a cry and yelling, and they call him names the prince has never heard before. The brother runs to the left, diving between the trees, moving parallel to Felden's outer wall. Five soldiers give chase. Two remain. They seem hesitant to follow. They both draw their swords, staring in the direction everyone went. Oh, no, wait, his brother's sword. He might need it. But it's too late. The prince unsheathes it just in case. Even in the dull light of dawn, its golden gilding glints. Who's there? The prince looks up. The two soldiers are coming his way. He must have made some noise. He freezes. His blood begins to drain from the top of his body. His legs go numb. No, 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 lose interest. Turn around, go away, go away. Turn around, leave me alone. Hey, there's someone in the trees. No, the prince scrambles into a sprint away from them. He hears Dacians yelling after him, thudding through the underbrush. Go away, go away, go away, stop following me. Around a tree, under a log, over a rock, through tall grass. Are they getting closer? Are they getting further away? He can't tell. He keeps running and running. And then he slips on muddy ground. And the ground vanishes. The forest rises up, careening overhead. As he topples into ice-cold waters. My friends, please follow me. I just had another type for something oh, somebody can borrow. Oh, no. <coughs> what? The <laughs> wheel open, I can't. Look, Kirby, more <laughs> water for you. Woo! Well, I, I better wait until he finishes speaking. I'm pretty sure you can hear what you're down It would be a very lovely rock to borrow. You know, maybe it'll give you the like the other stuff from, from throwing. Oh, there are stairs over there. It is of the highest quality. Yeah, I can do that. It is rock? a mithril Splash. rock of pigs rock? fighting. What? <laughs> yeah, the rock that the brother throws. <sighs> oh, God. It seems the prince has failed his like, dexterity it, save as usual. What if he could do something to like, no. stop him from throwing it long enough to give him a sword? 
<laughs> I don't know. I think that's probably. Where that's where he had the dice curse. The prince comes too. Something is pulling on his leg. He opens his eyes to see a mangy dog trying to drag him by the ankle. He panics and kicks at it, and not expecting retaliation, it darts away with a yelp. Chapter 4 The prince takes in his surroundings. He's inside a town, right by the water's edge, utterly soaked. He shivers and sits up. Everything hurts. He looks up, up at the town's structures and the sword. Where is his brother's sword? He looks left and right and into the water. It's not here. He gets to his feet, and with nowhere else to go, he heads into the town of Felden. This way, friends. The thunderstorm outside my house gives great ambience. Very <laughs> I wish I had all of those. <laughs> uh. Right? Oh, all that hurt was me slamming into a wall, but okay. Oh. Owned. Yeah, got it. And I can't see squat. Mix out Yep. <laughs> I cannot see squat. I see the inside models of a horse. The power of SDK 2.0. You can climb walls. Well, it's kind of cool. Megzellus is actually in Ludicia. That's 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 the answer. That's the secret right there. That's the actual secret. That's why it's the holy land. Ah, Geo left. Geo. Travelers, I ask for your attention. The prince hears a commotion ahead. There's a line of people with wooden bowls outside the door. He can see Dacian soldiers inside, giving out the same amount of food to each person. Next in line is an old lady who can barely place one foot before the other. Please, kind sirs, if, if I may, I would like a little more than usual. My dear canine friend, his name is Riot, you see, he's going hungry. Um, he's old, skin and bones. Please, sir. Hey, that's not fair, says a townsman right behind her. Why does she get more? Peace, peace, orders the soldier. He regards the elderly woman carefully. Fine, have extra, but just this once. Oh, bless you, Varna, bless you. And here, the soldier adds, offering a wooden stick. Seems like you're having trouble walking. The elderly woman is overcome. The prince turns away, wanting to distance himself from the scene. These are just normal people, he says to himself quietly. They didn't do anything. As he hurries away, he bumps into a group of strangers. He mutters an apology and tries to move around them, but they block his exit. He peers up at them. Those faces. Well, look who we have here. Zealots. The prince feels panic bubble up inside him. He wants to shout for help, but there are so many people about. It will turn into a fight. No. Oh. Dacians invading innocents will get hurt. There are too many of them. Come now, lad. No more running. 
my friends, the prince has no choice this way. No. no. And this is the way to make salads. This Go. is the way to make salads. Bad ending? <laughs> yes. Bad ending? I'm so scared. We will see. Yeah, this is, also, can we get the mix uh, and the mix out later on? Yeah, can we get right. a big fella? Can we get mix out? Guess this is mix out. You've got a sign here. Guess that's why they call it a hidden <laughs> temple. <laughs> Hi. Evidently enough, it's like kind of obvious. I it. The zealots lead the prince down some old rock-hewn steps and through another door, and the passage opens up to a large and dark room. Carved niches hold sickly candles. Many figures in red stand near the corners. Watching silently. Fireborn, says one of the zealots. We have the prince. A shadow that the prince did not see until just now slowly turns. It is a titan of a man, with a broad chest and square shoulders draped in dark crimson robes. His face is like a statue, chiseled and weathered and fierce. Ah, oh, the young prince. How I have searched for you. Tell me, where is your brother? Where is the heir? The prince can't bring himself to lift his head. Every breath trembles with effort. We found him alone, Fireborn. We think the shadow spotted by the west gate was the heir, but he hasn't been seen since. Oh, it matters not. It is you I want, Oceanborn. Yes, your brother told you, did he not? I assume he saw the whole thing, else why would he flee with you the way he did? The Inquisitor approaches, the shadow of his shadow creeping closer. Listen to me very carefully. If your brother told you I want you dead, he was lying to you. What use would you be to me then? Indeed, I am the one chosen by God. I am the fireborn, willed of the infernal miracles. And you, you and I shall go. I have no desire to take the lives of any of your family members unless they leave me no choice. No, the death I seek is that of Dacia. And you do too, do you not? What would your brother say were he here? He fought against Dacia. They have tried to invade us for decades now. Why, evil Dacian spirits destroyed Lakefort and started the whole war, didn't they? 
student today. Ah, you see it, don't you? You didn't just have a vision. No, you summoned a great power. You made the earth open its maw. You destroyed Lakefort. This war started because of you. Don't you see? You and I are so alike. We both wield miracles. The only difference, my prince, is that I know that you have no idea how to harness it. And that is no fault of yours. That is where I come in. As one chosen by God, it has been revealed to me through divine wisdom that you are my enemy. But it doesn't have to be this way. I know how to help you. The Church of Varna has a place for you. A Lazarus has a place for you. I have a... A crown, your crown, not that of a king, but that of a mighty wielder of miracles. Accept this gift, sire. Release your potential. Place it upon your head. Feel the crown beckoning. The prince stares at the circle it offered to him. The two parallel bands have a dull shine, but it is otherwise featureless. Lakefort. His brother. Dacia. The prince watches as the circlet glows with a lure. The war with Dacia is his fault? The Inquisitor is right. The Inquisitor must be right. He must be. wear the crown? Do I want to wear the crown? Do I want to wear the crown? I... 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 I do. Yes. The prince accepts what is offered to him. The moment he makes contact, heat passes through him, rippling, coursing, leaving numbness in its wake. He raises it up and places it upon his head. The Inquisitor smiles, and everything is changed forever. He sees the storm again, but this vision is not like the others. The waves churn, the wind cuts, the thunder rolls, the storm is real. It is here, it is hell fire. Flames roar outward, filling the underground space in an instant. All is red. Then white, then blinding, searing, the prince screams, and the fire roars back. And then... Darkness returns. And in the darkness, embers glow. 
cooked stone, scorched corpses, everything choked with soot and ash. The prince gets up and looks for the inquisitor. Is he dead? Did the firestorm take his life? But rising up with him is a great shadow. Though the zealots have been reduced to mere ashes, another stands, towering, indomitable, fireborn. My prince. As the Inquisitor speaks, cinders fall from his mouth. Come, we have much work to do. I can stand on nothing. That's kind of That's not impressive. I can do that too. Show off. Thank you. Well, you know, because my uh, my Voodoo Three FX is kind of dying right now. Seems to be caught in a predicament. Yeah, it seems to be caught in something quite hot. This is it. The bad ending. <laughs> Uh, is it though? Unless... Or can we detach don't, don't make, it? don't make me go to what you do. Hopefully we can. Detach works. <coughs> we need to try and explain it to the newer travelers. Fingers are crossed. D detach, right? Help with that. Was it? Oh. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We can convince the rest of them. I ask for your attention. We are close now to the end. The prince and the inquisitor stand on an old bridge atop a hill. In the valley below lies golden, painted orange and blue in the light of the setting sun. The sky is clear. All is quiet. Do you know why I brought you here? The Inquisitor sounds distracted, distant. The Prince does not know. He's losing track of his own thoughts. He's losing track of reason, of time. He thinks the other zealots are dead, but he isn't sure. There was fire, lots of fire, and his mind ached. Something blocked his attempts at remembering. Something else is in there. In his mind. The Dustborn was right. You are the Chosen One. Grounded influence upon this world like no other. Chosen by an enemy of the church, an enemy of God. The very God who chose me and bestowed upon me the miracle of fire. We are both chosen. Hmm. We are not so different. been revealed to me. Felden has become infested with Dacians. But even before then, Felden deserved this. 
judgment. The Inquisitor looks down at his own hands. He looks at them for a long while, his expression wavering somewhere between sadness and spite. Then he lifts his gaze up, up toward the heavens. The prince looks up with him at the vast, deep, empty sky. Valsrith, Harbarn, Oradeo, Madaios, Velden. May the heavens come down upon them, and may they be reduced to ashes. Oh no. Yeah. It's time. All right. Mm hmm you look so crazy right now. Shoes up from the depths, yeah. rising to meet him. From up high, really hard. a massive expanse of land stretches out before him. Rivers are ribbons of silver. Mountains are mounds of soil and stones. Towns and cities are smudges of beige and gray. And the sea is a distant shimmer. Entire realms can fit within his grasp. He reaches out and begins to close his hand around the kingdom. A face appears before a flickering candle. Eyes closed, peaceful, Beautiful, delicate, porcelain white. He watches her sleep. He watches her. My friends, you have a choice to make. The prince has the following options. Destroy, 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 destroy. You have one minute to discuss what to do. Destroy. Let's do this. Not destroy. Everyone listen to their mood. Let me let me explain the whole context so nobody gets confused. During the after so, party, which happens news. after tours, you can get lore from Trajan about the tours. Smartly, Silan managed to get lore about this vision and revealed a word we can use here other than destroy. Detach. We need to use that here. Destroy is mm. not our only choice. Use detach mm. instead. Thank yes, you. This power detach. is too great for one mm -hmm. more to Let's go. Very well. Please at the same time, yeah. knowing yeah. that we must the do does not so like it that when we willingly choose destruction. But I like being evil. I have a bunch of that you were. Please don't. 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 Trajan has been the newer, been newer tour goers mm -hmm. who will mm -hmm. willingly mm -hmm. choose yeah. Yes or no? The soup is well, well, I'm, I'm completely new here, here, so... The talk has ended. Oh, shit. And one of you will be chosen to give the fateful decision. I believe it is only fitting for this to go to cilantro. 
Whoa. What is your choice? Detached, please. <laughs> no way. Okay, then. Didn't expect this. Cilantro. You have said detach. Is this correct? Yes, that is correct. I can maybe do that. You over here. Oh, no, you need you. May not be able to do Cilantro. that. But we'll at least get more information. Detach is not a valid answer for this vision. Therefore, the I prince see. has chosen destroy. Understood. Other prerequisites. Oh, okay. There's prerequisites. Do it. Oh, God. Destroy. Is it triple now we know. Well, it's terrible. But our will says not to destroy. Interesting. Prerequisite has not been well, that was was, For the next few minutes, I ask two things. One, that you kindly remain silent. And two, that you observe the town of Felden in the valley below. Oh, no, no. No, 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 no. Not again.
Marilyn didn't want this. I didn't want this. Yes, you did. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yes, and brother wanted it as well. Divine justice for what they did to you, to us. <laughs> Get out of my head. They deserve this, this divine judgment delivered by you, your vision, your will. Please, please stop. <laughs> I don't think it could stop. Give up. Let go. Give this miracle to me. You won't use it. You're a failure. A waste of breath. A waste of everybody's time. The kingdom doesn't need you. Your family doesn't need you. Nobody needs you. Nobody wants you. Everyone would be better off without you. Not even I want you. Let me go. <laughs> You're lying. Uh, brother, brother is here, brother is here with me, we're traveling, we're traveling to the sacred land of Lydicia together, mother is here, father is here, we're all here, we're all together. My friends, welcome to the neutral ending of the prince. Oh, mm, same as before. Was the bad ending. Mm. Same as before. Yeah, <laughs> one with that's things, huh? neutral. It gets worse. We haven't figured out yet. Yeah, we'll get the bad ending. Mediocre. That's good job. Possible. Good job, everybody. Oh, yeah. How bad is we the good ending? We learned more prerequisites to get. Well, we want the good ending. Good I ending. want this to get a lot worse. This is neutral. This isn't considered yeah, bad right. enough to be bad. Oh, okay. You do what you want. Oh, I don't know why the hair. I'm going to let me know what you want to say. Friends and travelers, your attention, please. For those who are new here, please stick around. There will be announcements in a couple of minutes by Sheen. So please. Give us to a guide a couple of minutes to realign our ether.